In this Excel video, we're going to talk about how to make a business account ledger where you could see the beginning balance, the ending balance, the total income coming in, the total expenses uh, going out, all within Excel. And it's going to update anytime you enter a new entry. So let's begin. First, let's adjust the width and the height of each cell. And then let's change the font. Let's make it 14. So here I'm going to put the date and then the description of the transaction and then the type of transaction. Either it's a debit or a credit. Over here I'm going to put the beginning balance I'm going to turn this into a table the total income total expenses and the end and balance. All right, before we start using formulas, let's add a few entries. So let's say on September 1st, the office rent is due. Let's say on September 2nd, we're going to make a, a check deposit into our business account. September 3rd, the light bill is due. And then for September 4th, we're going to pay the water bill. On September 6th, we're going to make a cash deposit to the bank. On September 8th, we're going to pay the car insurance. On September 10th, the life insurance bill will be debited from our account. Well, on September 12th, we'll make a, a check deposit. And let's see. On the 15th, the home insurance is due, or rather, let's call that something else. Let's just say business insurance. On the 18th, we're going to pay the cell phone bill. On the 20th, internet and cable. On the 21st, we're going to have a, we're going to put in the cash deposit. On the 24th, we're going to purchase office supplies. And on the 26th, we're going to make a check deposit. And on the 28th, we're going to have some repair expenses. All right, let's say at the beginning of, of the month, the start and balance, actually before that, let's do some formatting. Let's change the background column. So at the beginning of the month, let's say we have a balance of 15,000. Now to get the total income, we're going to type in equal sum 
and then we're going to highlight column E, the credit column. And then we'll close the parenthesis. Now for total expenses, we simply need to take the sum of the debit column, column D. Now to get the end in balance after each entry, we're going to type in equal. We're going to highlight cell G2, the beginning balance. Then we're going to add the total income to it, that's cell G6, and then subtract it by the total expenses, cell G9. Now, anytime we add an entry, the end in balance is going to change. If we add a credit, the total income will change. If we add a debit, the total expenses will change, updating the end in balance. So the office rent, that's going to be a debit. That's going to pull cash out of the account. So let's say the office rent is currently 1800 a month. So we can see the total expenses went up by 1800 and the beginning balance decreased by 1800, giving us a new ending balance of 13,200. Now let's add a credit. Let's say we put in a check deposit of 2000. The income went up by 2000. The ending balance went up by 2000. It was 13,200. Now it's 15,200. So let's add a light bill. Let's say the light bill is a flat 200 this month. We can see the end in balance decrease by 200. Let's say the water bill for the office is 275. We can see the expense, the total expenses has been updated. Now let's make a cash deposit of 1600. Let's say the car insurance is 350 for the business. I put light insurance. Let's make this life insurance. Let's say that's 165 for the business. And we'll make another check deposit of 2400. So the end imbalance went up. Let's say the business insurance is 425 a month. We'll say cell phone is 136. Internet cable, we'll say that's 199. Let's say we'll make a cash deposit of 1900 this week. Let's say for office supplies, we'll spend 378 for the whole month. And let's put in a check deposit of 2250. And let's say the cost of doing repairs for the whole month was $876. Let's change what we have here. So now we see the amount of money we started at the beginning of the month and how much we have at the end of the month. And we can see if we're profitable or if we're underwater. Our total income exceeds our total expenses, so that's good. And it's always good for your balance to be going up, not going down. So this is a simple way in which you can create a business account ledger where you can see the end imbalance after putting in a debit or a credit.